Mike. No stress, Mike. Not calm. Uh, I was just thinking. Uh, I, I was just thinking. I'm, I'm, I'm getting things ready to go go off to another country, and uh, I was just thinking, man, Mike. How long is this going to be going on? <laughs> I'm wondering. I'm thinking, you know, there's got to be an age or a, a something that I'm going to have to draw a line here somewhere uh, because I can't keep doing all this stuff. And uh, so this is what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, what's, and I mentioned this before. When I was young man, uh, sometimes I'd have to chase somebody down when I get in a fight. You know, there, there's multiple. No, there's normally, uh, it's not for one on one on me. It's always normally a bunch of them. And normally, I end up uh, when I strike, I start getting as many of them as I can. And the reason is they all start running away. And uh, the thing is, uh, uh, they they weren't expecting things to get so brutal. Uh, I say I don't like fighting, and then so when I get to the point where I got to do it, I, I really do it. And the thing that's really weird is now uh, I'm I'm old. This is what everybody tells me anyway. And um, the thing that's funny is I still you've shot I've, I've made videos on my morning exercise and my tai chi and um, this is stuff that I do. Uh, not only every day, but multiple times a day sometimes. So, uh, and with different weapons. And matter of fact, let me see. I'll let you see. I think you can see it back there. That's my sword. <laughs> Got my sword. Uh, I can't bring a lot of my stuff, so I just brought uh, one tomahawk and a sword to work out with. I'm going to be, when I'm going, I'm going up north, you know, I'll be out in the country so people won't see me working out so I can pull out some weapons and work out. Uh, but the thing is, there's a reason why, there's, there's a saying, you never, you never fight somebody older than you. There, there's a, you know, that's why you're supposed to respect your elders. That's why. <laughs> you don't always know what your elders know. And, um, uh, the thing is, <laughs> this is what I was thinking about just now. I was thinking, you know, here I'm going ready to go to another country I've never been to. I'm going to be completely lost. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to, you know, it's going to get weird. And, um, and I'm thinking, you know, another thing about being old is you have nothing to lose. You know, not only... I know my capabilities, uh, but a lot of times I know the capabilities of my threat. So, uh, uh, and then you add that to what are you going to do to me? I mean, what are you going to do to me that hasn't been done already? And like I say, uh, uh, I've had busted bones. I've been cut up. Uh, you know, I mean, I just, you know, I've been beaten really, really bad. Um, you know what? You're going to kill me? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the worst you can come up with? You know, because I can do worse than that. I mean, I can. Uh, I, I know <laughs> there's a lot of things worse than dying. And, um. Uh, the thing is, when you get old, you look at things differently. And this is why, like I say, I keep myself in really good shape. And that's because, you know, I do counter-terrorist work. I, I, I fight. So uh, I keep myself in shape. Now, and when it comes to the fear, the, I've done lost the fear a long time ago. It's all I want to do is make friends, and so it's it's a whole lot different with that kind of an attitude. And uh, and I say so. There are advantages in being old if 
you keep the your physical advantages up with you. Uh, even you know, even if you know, sometimes I don't have all those physical advantages. That's why I got a gun too, just in case. <laughs> so, but anyway, there are advantages, and like I say, I am not looked at as a threat. So most of the time, I can get through a lot of stuff. Uh, just they know I don't look like a threat, but I also got to make sure I'm a parent that I am not a victim. So you you know you have to kind of get get yourself in the middle of that thing some way or another. And uh, but that's that's the thing I do when I travel. Uh, I try to be nice and friendly with everybody and get along with people and. And um, uh, like I say, I've, I've got one advantage also, uh, not only being old and elderly kind of thing, you know, uh, not being a threat, but I've also noticed that um, I've got the, the appearance of I can hold my own, but at the same time, I'm able to project um, helplessness. Uh, I say I'm, I'm lost. I mean, where do I, you know, where, where do I go? Where, where, you know, I mean, so I'm, I'm lost. And so, you know, it's, there's a lot of things you learn. You know, I was going to say you learn as you get older, but not everybody uh, subjects themselves to the environments where they have to learn a lot of stuff. Most people try to avoid all the kind of stuff that I just... You know, what? There's a fire? Let me go jump in it. <laughs> you know, uh, most people try to avoid all that stuff. And I, I go in and I, I, try to, I try to look at it closely. And uh, so I get up close, close and personal. But I, I try not to get all involved. But, you know, when you get up close, you're gonna, you, eventually you do get involved. But, um, but anyway, uh, that's just what I was thinking uh, is... I cannot believe that I'm doing this stuff, and it, it just. Uh, it, now I was going to say it's going to get harder, harder all the time, but it doesn't. Man, I'll tell you, this China thing was tough. So uh, this, I'm not expecting to be quite as bad. And um, like I say we're going to we're just going to go see where it's going to go from there. But um, as being older and wiser, I don't deal with money. Uh, so, you know, I know I can get things done with money, but I'd rather not have money because if I did everything by money, I'd run out of money. That's why people live paycheck to paycheck because they're doing, they're running their lives on money instead of learning and uh, making changes in their life. Well, this is what I did last year. Yeah, you're right. How much money do you have left over from last year? You don't. You know, what do you have to show from last year? You know, no, well, I've been making payments. Well, you know, uh, you know, you're tied down. You're never going to improve your life. So you've got to be able to get out. And this is nothing I've learned since I've got a older. Uh, that, like I say, it's a whole lot easier to get out uh, once I stop using money, basing my life on money. But there is, you, you do... There are advantages in being old, but if you don't practice and learn, you're not going to get old. You're going to take you're going to take all of your your crosses with you, especially if they're you know financial crosses or fears. You're going to bring your fears with you as you get older. And I don't know how many people are scared. Well, I, you know they live close to the hospital because they're scared. <laughs> you know so you know. Uh, that goes right over my head. Yeah, I mean, what's to be scared of? We're old. We've already gone through a lot of stuff. We ought to know better. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. This Mike, no stress Mike. <laughs> dot com.